folks around me will say that this is true. I'm conspiracy man, because I say the sky is blue. But the CIA made up that phrase back in 67. They turned everyone against me because I don't buy 9-11. Seven fell because of office fires Then you're messed up in the head Cause you can't see that they are liars So I'm about to lay it out You will know it's true So just sit back, check it out You'll know what to do There ain't no way that I would leave the monkey to the man Evolution is impossible It's really just a scam Pill down man's a sample A lice are very big All they did was take the bone out from the nose of some old Link. They put it right in front of us and hoped you wouldn't think The scientist authorities were lying sacks of dirt But now I know what they can do so I'm on high alert Do they show me that they know is not the case? I've never really thought about this pick from outer space. If you ask your phone to show a pick about the Milky Way, what do you think you're looking at? If asked, what would you say? You'd probably say, what do you mean? Are you some kind of dope? It's very clear just what I'm looking at is from a telescope. But I would say the galaxy's a thousand light years wide. How could you have that picture if you took it from inside? there a million light years out in space do you think we have a camera that is out there in that place please don't be ridiculous and so i asked the same how did they get the galaxy to fit inside the frame go on you could do it just admit you know the deal there's no way what you're looking at could possibly be real you probably never thought it so you feel like a buffoon because now you know the snazzy shot is just a darn cartoon you fallen in the rabbit hole well here's another crazy lie but they tell you like it's proven they tell you that the core is molten liquid and it's moving they've learned the core is molten reading earthquake waves they say but they cannot interpret waves a thousand miles away that brings me to this pick the one you think is true you think the earth is round because they keep telling you they put the pick in front of you for your entire life but if you read the caption it'll cut you like a knife well this ain't a pick from outer space it's just a cartoon it's made of strips of data with colors added too if you're looking at the clouds they're identical side by side this proves it isn't real it's just another lie for your mind but there really are no bars nasa's picture on the left doesn't show you any stars the picture on the right is what you think you probably see so you'll have to choose the person that you think you want to be well personally i prefer living a lie that way i don't have to endure being called a conspiracy theorist kook i have a reputation to consider and besides my life is really fun and i'm important and i wouldn't want to mess that up with something as trivial as the truth for you.
you the king. They lied about the moon rock, so we know that wasn't true. They showed the famous footprint that was made from Buzz's poo. But what we see is not a match to old Buzz Aldrin's suit. NASA told us that the shot of Earth is very clear, but when you fiddle with the contrast, an artifact appears. Photographers will tell you there can only be one reason. They made a phony picture because they're all involved in treason. It's even worse than that. You can see these guys are liars. It's obvious these astronauts are hanging from these wires. It's a blue screen trick that you believe is true. But the cowboy isn't on the range. It's just a grid that's blue. In a similar way, the astronauts are training in a pool. They have a mock-up of the station that we think is really cool. But they really are not practicing to walk in outer space. It's for them to act in front of screens to fool the human race. Sorry. Dressed in a suit, I know that he's a liar, there's no print upon his boot. Here we see a picture of him training at the base. He's supposedly a trainee to go walking out in space, but he is in no danger and can sidestep any wrecks, cause he'll go into space using special effects. If you're not convinced, this will cause you many troubles if there ain't no water. Then how come there are bubbles? You can clearly see the bubbles in a variety of these shots. It proves the whole thing's fake, like the stupid astronauts. If you're still not persuaded and the truth is what you see, every suit has a snorkel just in case there is a leak. If you believe that they need snorkels, then I know you are a fool. Cause the truth is the helmets flood with water from the pool. to know it because it'll cause you to lose face but just go ask the google about snorkels out in space stop the music i can't take it anymore snorkels in space is really on the mainstream news they actually report it like it's real they're mocking you they're mocking you People are so asleep that the news can actually talk about snorkels in space and people will go right on wearing their NASA t-shirts like it's real. I'm sorry, but I've gotten off the bus. I'm just going to talk to the conspiracy theorists now for a second. Do astronauts really need snorkels to survive? I think that convinces me that this is a lie. But all of this brings me to the problem at hand. If you decide to believe, you're going to be banned. Your family will tell you that you have brain clots because you don't believe in these astronauts. Conspiracy theorist is what you'll be called. You'll be hated and ostracized and you'll be appalled at how those that loved you could turn and attack, how quickly they'll leave you and never look back. They won't want to know what you've clearly found out. You'll be abandoned. Of that, there's no doubt. And so you will look for answers to find. Who can explain the thoughts in my mind? If only there was somewhere that I could go look or maybe there was someone that had written a book. Well, I'm here to tell you that's actually the case. I've written a book for the whole human race. If you have been hurting and you've felt someone's wrath, I've written a book for those on that path. This book is a guide for the truther, you see. It's for those who've told officialdom, I must disagree. But now that you're questioning the stories you've been told, it's costing you dearly and you're out in the cold. The Conspiracy Theorist Survival Guide is just what you need. It will instruct, inspire and help you succeed. So go over to Amazon and purchase the book, The Conspiracy Theorist Survival Guide. Go give it a look. And if it helps you to handle what you're going through, please don't forget to write a review.